Hello and welcome to the channel. So if you do any type of pressure washing at all, it's inevitable that you're gonna come across a situation where the water just pulls in one particular place and you can't get rid of it. You spend hours either trying to pressure wash it out with a lance and blow it out everywhere, or shoveling it somewhere, or sweeping it away, and it just causes loads of mess, makes loads, takes loads of time, and it's just a pain in the neck. And this was the case on the recent job I did when my pressure washer broke down. Uh, so what I'm going to do today, I'm going to show you something that I bought for that job because I knew it was going to pull up at the one end. Uh, so I'll show you something that I've bought for that job. And also towards the end of the video, I'll let you know what happened with the pressure washer, uh, what was wrong with it, what caused it and how, uh, what I thought about the service that I got from dual pumps. So keep watching and find out how he got on. I think the problem's going to be with this one is down that end there's no real drainage. There's Sam. So there's no real drainage down here but uh, I think I've got a solution for that which I'll show you in a bit. For the recent video I did I bought this with my own money. Now this was from Equip to Clean and it's called, if I can get it to focus, a mud sucker and the way it works there's a cone of metal here you attach a quarter inch lance to it uh, and the other end to your pressure washer and then it's got a jet that faces straight up the hose uh, you've got I think it's probably inch and a half hose here 38 millimeter hose and you get five meters of hose from it now this comes from Equip to Clean as I said and it is £99.95 I think that includes postage and and that on that price so it's quite a good deal on that you will need to uh, have a lance and I've got my lance here so this lance here is one that I got for my quad jet and it's just got a quarter inch quick release fitting on it now all you do is to put it on quick release on and what equip to clean recommend is that that you attach the hose to uh, to the lance for the first lot. If you don't do that and it bends straight away, the pressure of the water will blow a hole in the side of the hose. So you need to keep it straight for uh, pretty much the length of the lance to start with. Now, the way it works, as I said, the water coming from your pressure washer pressure pushes up this hose and it forces all the water that you're trying to suck away uh, back up the hose and then five meters off you can drain it away to where you want. So it doesn't need to be a particular powered hose uh, pressure washer. The more powerful you've got the more water it will shift. Uh, I had a go with it the other day just on some water uh, just to see how it worked and um, yeah, it worked really well, really blasted out. So what I'm gonna do, uh, I've got a, uh, a tray, and I'm gonna put 25 liters of water in it. I'll drop it in, start the pressure washer up, and we'll time it to see how quickly this actually takes 25 liters of water from out of a tray. And then it'll give us a bit of an idea of how well it works. So, pressure washer's on, up the garden, and we'll start in three, two, one, go. That's 25 litres in 6.25 seconds. So I think you've got to agree there, it really does blast it out. That was 25 litres, might be a litre left in the bottom. And that was in just over six seconds. So it really does push it out quickly. So you're gonna really clean up a, a patio or a sump or whatever you've got really fast. But I hear you say, Dave, we never do it with clean water though. It's always dirty water we're using. Well, I thought about that. So, what I've done, I've got a bucket here, and I don't know if you can see that. That's some sludge that I have um, cleaned out of my gutter vac last time I used it. Bucket of sludge. I've also got sand and gravel. Now, because there's no moving parts in the mud sucker, 
Uh, you can go up to, uh, I think it says up to 20 mil pieces in that. So that is uh, 20 mil ballast, which means the stones in the sand and gravel go up to 20 mil. So that's, uh, that is, what have we got in there? We've got gutter vacuum sludge, and we've got sand and gravel from, um, from a building site basically. So to our bucket of sand and gravel and sludge, I'm adding some water. Got four litres of water that I'll just add to it, wet it up a bit. Now, I haven't actually done this before, so I don't know how well it's going to work. You'll be seeing with me for the first time how well this actually works and whether it does suck up sludge, stones, the whole lot. We'll, um, we'll see together. So we've got about, what we got? About eight litres of slime in there. We'll give that a stir up. Just one minute. So, nicely stirred up. So what we're gonna do now, we'll drop the mud sucker in again, and we'll see how we get on with that. So, let's give that a go. We'll give this a stir around. Nice and slimy. And let's give it a go. stone stuck in there. Now from what I can see of this, it does need some water in it. So drop the hose pipe in, give it another stir around and we'll give it another go. Got a couple of bigger stones in there though, and that has slowed it down. Just take the lance off just in case. Give them a tap, and will they come out? Just seem pretty stuck. Oh, that's it. That's got them. Attach the lance back on. There, that's better. So, try again. Get a bit more water in there. You can see here it's really bringing it off. I think we'll leave it at that. So you can see the slime has all gone and it's literally just the small, well, the biggest stones I should say. All the sludge, the silt, all that, all the water, it empties out. But big stones are just too much to, for it. it did, they did get caught, a couple of them got caught in there and just needed to stop and knock them out. Uh, but it definitely worked. Got all the slime out, got all the sand out and really, uh, really did suck it up really well. Um, I wasn't quite sure what to expect, whether it would take the stones away or not. Um, but I mean, it's taken most of the stones, it's taken all the sand, taken all the slime, it's taken all the water, and just left the really big stones. So that did work really well. So if you're on a job and you know that it's gonna pull somewhere, I would definitely recommend getting the mud sucker from Equip to Clean. Uh, very affordable. It might be that you have to get yourself a an extra lance as well. Um, but you know still really good value for money so the link for this will be in the description below as I said you get the head and you get five meters of tube with it as well so finally as promised how did I get on with getting the pressure washer fixed what was wrong with it 
and how did I get on with dual pumps? Well, the supplier that I got it from was actually away in a different country at the time, so he couldn't deal with it. So he did give me the number for dual pumps. I rang dual pumps. Uh, they, the engineer rang me straight back that day uh, with some suggestions to try, and uh, which I tried and didn't work. None of the suggestions worked, so it was decided that it would be sent back to them. He arranged uh, the courier uh, for the next working day. Um, so it was shipped off and then I must admit I was a bit um, a bit worried that they'd keep it for months because they are busy but they didn't uh, the it was shipped off the next day when he received it I got a phone call off him that day saying he'd had a look at it he knew what was wrong with it uh, and he had fixed it and what it actually was I think I can't remember the exact words he said I think he said it was a rocker arm in the engine that had broken. It was the first time he'd actually ever seen it happen. And the only thing that he could um, put it down to was manufacturer's error. If it wasn't the rocker arm, I can't remember the, exactly what it was he said, but it was a part in the engine um, that he said had broken and put down to manufacturer's area, error. So it was fixed and then sent back on an overnight courier the next day. So it was actually away from home for less than a week, six days, which isn't bad considering that it was um, the long bank, the Jubilee bank holiday weekend. So that was, uh, it was probably seven days, I think. So, but the three of those, four of those were uh, days off. So very, very pleased with the uh, service that Jewel Pumps provided there came straight back and it's working as sweet as anything now. Filled it back up with oil and petrol. First pull started working really, really well. So that's a big thumbs up to dual pumps. Absolutely amazing service. So the mud sucker. Well, it's definitely not called a stone sucker, which, which is fair enough. Uh, as you can see, just there is a stone stuck in it. Um, it will take small stones out, but doesn't take the big ones out. But then again, it's not meant to. You've got a shovel for that. Uh, and but it does suck mud, and it sucks it really, really well, really fast. So that will this will be something that I'd put in my kit when I take out my pressure washer. Just it'll go in the kit, and it'll just come out with me automatically for every job I go to. So an absolutely amazing piece of kit, couldn't speak highly enough of it. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Keep watching the channel, there's loads more to come, and thanks for watching. Bye for now.